With each passing year, electric vehicles are gaining more popularity and attention. After all, the problem of air pollution in the city is gradually being resolved as a result of their presence. However, the high cost of production does not allow the introduction of this new mode of transportation everywhere. Therefore, many automakers have staged a real race to reduce the price of an electric car. Along with such well-known brands as Nissan, Hyundai and Tesla, little-known Chinese manufacturers Kandi and Dacia compete. The latter were able to achieve significant success, reducing the cost of an electric car to $10,000. And today, we will evaluate one of them to find out how much the price reduction has reflected on the performance of the car itself. Even though the first electric car was successfully tested in the middle of the 19th century, its growth in popularity has only recently begun. After all, earlier the production of cars with an internal combustion engine was much cheaper, and the characteristics of transport were much higher. But in 2008, Elon Musk held a presentation of his first electric car, the Tesla Roadster. This novelty was almost as good as conventional cars in terms of performance, which led to a real boom in the automaker market. Just two years later, Nissan launched its Nissan LEAF line of electric vehicles. Impressed by the new mode of transport and features, Americans placed over 20,000 pre-orders within one month. Despite the initial price of $32,000, many companies rushed into the race to reduce the cost of transport. So Hyundai introduced its new model of the Ionic electric car for $33,000. But taking into account the benefits, the cost is reduced by five to 10,000 depending on the state. The Tesla company has promised to start producing new models in 2023 at a cost of $25,000. However, the lowest price was offered by the Chinese company Kandi its car sold for only $13,000. Kandi Technologies was established in 2002 and worked mainly for the Chinese domestic market, supplying electric scooters and electric vehicles. In 2013, it entered into a partnership with fellow Chinese automaker Geely. Thanks to this, a separate enterprise was created with an authorized capital of $160 million and is engaged in research, development, and creation of new types of electric vehicles. This allowed Condi to grow and announce its plans to enter the U.S. market in 2019. At the beginning of the year, they received approval from the U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, to export two types of Condi vehicles, Model EX3 and Model K22. And by May to June 2019, the first batch of 100 electric vehicles was brought. A year later, the company announced the start of sales of other models in the Dallas-Fort Worth area of Texas. The choice of Texas was not accidental. It has some of the biggest benefits for electric vehicles, and pickup trucks are very popular there. The second point has to do with the fact that the company has its own versions of cheap SUVs and hopes to catch on with the local population. What made the new transport models Condi K27 and Condi K23 peculiar was the price. Each of them, taking into account benefits, cost less than $10,000 and $20,000. The cheapest electric car in the U.S. is 132.22 inches long, 57.87 inches wide, and 63.58 inches high. As you can see, this is a fairly compact four-seater that can be compared to subcompact conventional cars. Its 17.69 kilowatt-hour lithium battery, capable of driving 116 miles on a single charge, will take seven hours to recharge from zero to full charge at a standard level two EV charging station with a voltage of 240 volts. If it is the level one EV charging station, then it will take twice as long, 14 hours. Despite a top speed of 62 miles per hour, it is artificially lowered to 25 to 35 miles per hour depending on the state where it is sold. This automatically bans its use on American highways, allowing vehicles to travel only in urban or suburban areas where low speeds are allowed. Of the additional functions, a special battery protection system should be noted, which should protect passengers from fire and an anti-theft system. Separately, there are door locks with speed sensors that allow you to safely transport children without worrying that they can open the door on their own while driving and seatbelts that will report unfastened passengers. Among the technical innovations in the car, there is a rear camera, a Bluetooth hands-free device, and a speed warning. 
In general, as we can see, an electric car resembles a small car in terms of technical and electronic support, which is well suited for those who are looking for an inexpensive means of transportation within the city. The initial price is $15,499, but due to benefits that vary from state to state, it can drop below $10,000. Till date, it is the cheapest electric car in the U.S. As Johnny Tai, CEO of the Condi America, noted, the main task is to make a new mode of transport accessible to everyone. Electric vehicles have been valued for years for their efficiency, sustainability, and innovation. However, owning the IT car often eluded consumers who desired a great EV alongside all the other comforts of modern living. Condi is changing that by revolutionizing the EV buying experience for many. Condi's mission is to make electric cars accessible to all. With these first two models, we are starting an auto evolution that will enable anyone, regardless of their financial status, to afford a reliable, high-tech EV. However, despite the good intention, an important role in choosing a car is played by the marketing strategy and design of the car. And if everything is okay with the first statement, it is impossible to find a new car cheaper than $10,000 in the country. Then, with the design, everything is more difficult. The fact is that, although Americans prefer to buy small cars, especially against the backdrop of rising fuel prices, they still appreciate comfort. Many American manufacturers are aware of this, so they produce inexpensive cars but with large overall dimensions. For instance, to the top of the most popular but cheap and small cars, the Honda Fit most often is added, costing $16,190. It is 161.4 inches long, which is 29 inches longer than the Condi. This gives more space for passengers and raises the level of comfort. Another example is the Chevrolet Sonic. It is being sold for a little more at $16,720, but it measures 173.9 inches long, 41 inches more than the Condi. At the same time, their technical stuffing is basically the same or even slightly better than that of the Chinese manufacturer. In these conditions, only a small part of Americans will be eager to take advantage of the benefits and buy an electric car for a small price, rather than pay a little more and use a much larger car with an appropriate level of comfort. Although the K27 Chinese model will find its buyers among young people and those who need transport solely for moving quickly around the city while saving money on fuel. The rapid development and declining prices of electric cars are very good trends towards the creation of green cities. However, to Rapid Development Day, only a few manufacturers are able to reduce the cost of a new type of car enough to make it profitable for Americans to buy. Unfortunately, along with the price, the level of comfort also falls. That is that very critical factor in the decision to buy a car. And until manufacturers can improve it, leaving the price at the same level, small electric cars will be the lot of only a small part of the population. Perhaps Elon Musk will be able to surprise us again and soon demonstrate a new car worth less than $23,000. What do you think about it?